Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to The Correct Views. As you can clearly see, I am the Invisible Man, and I am bringing to you the last character for Halloween. Keep in mind that all of the stories that you are about, pay attention when I'm talking to you, look at me. All the stories you are going to hear are true. However, the person giving you the story has only been created for holidays such as these. This is Arg Mortis, and he is the friendly voice who answers the phone when you call. Some people have found him to be a little bit scary, but I personally think that this year he's found just the right touch of cheer. Are you ready? I'm ready, but I need you to move. No problem. Thank you. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, whenever you call the show, oh, that's too damn dark. Whenever you call the show, the friendly voice that you hear on the other end, <laughs> that's me. So make sure you call, because we like when you call. <laughs> and I'll talk to you, and let me know what we can do to make the show better. People call and they say, I've got show ideas. And I'm like, listen, you stupid bastard. I know you've got show ideas that you wouldn't have called. So why don't you just cut to it and tell me what they are? <laughs> I guess I should get to the news. MSN news. Ten feet of blood. Kayaker recalls helping teen attacked by a shark. Now here's my question. You always hear about somebody swooping in, trying to be some kind of freaky Batman. Who wins the last time you heard anybody trying to help the shark? Huh? What happens when you take the food out of a shark's mouth? Does anybody ever ask about that? No. No, they don't. They don't ever ask about a teenager is recovering this morning from a vicious shark attack in Southern California. 13-year-old Kanye Hayes is the first shark attack victim at the popular beach city of Encitas in 30 years. So basically the shark, the shark just shows up to have one meal, one meal in three decades. But no, some do-gooders gotta come along and uh, some do-gooders gotta come along and uh, ruin it for him. Uh, he suffered traumatic injuries when the shark attacked him on Saturday while he was lobster diving. Uh, so it's okay for him to take the lobsters and to take the lobsters and to put them in the boiling water. But it's not okay. It's not okay for a shark to have a meal. Not even near Halloween. Chad Hamill was kayaking nearby when he heard a scream. <laughs> Screams. It's probably like ten feet of blood behind him. And ten, ten feet of blood. And he's in a panic and he flops on top of my kayak into his whole clavicle. And back is exposed. And the blood was gushing. <laughs> Y you know, you're kind of a psychopath. Maybe you shouldn't answer the phone. There's nothing wrong with me. Oh, don't let me see you around here again. I'm an invisible man. Button in where he's not wanted, and we can see that. Haynes was upgraded Sunday to critical con serious condition. We don't know how the shark is. Meanwhile, he's starving to death somewhere. It appears that the description knows it's just as bad luck. <laughs> Dr. Chris Lowe is the director of the University of California Long Beach Shark Lab. And he said the ten feet is still a juvenile shark. So basically you stuck to food from the mouth of babes, didn't you? Yeah, how's that? Gone hungry. The poor shark out there wanting to have a meal and some do-gooder comes along. <laughs> the Irish Times. The Exorcists. Bishop setting up team to combat evil forces. Normally, Sam gives me a bunch of stupid stories to cover. This year, I got my own stupid stuff. My own stories to cover. The Exorcists. Uh, and listen to this. Uh, don't tune up because I have your number. A Catholic bishop has said that he is establishing a delivery minister. A group of people who will be attempting to rid the devil through exorcism. 
Bishop Alphonsus Colinan says he has received several requests from people to help deal with evil forces, and one priest in the diocese at Waterford and Lindsor is about to start training in the practice of exorcism. Dr. Cullion warned against the possibility of users of Reiki and other methods of being exposed to evil spirits. Mm, he said he's getting into the culture, you know, and they use Beyonce to get into the culture, right? You don't think they stopped at that fat ass, do you? No, they kept going, now they're using Reiki. He said he was told by the brother of a Reiki master that the man was working on somebody one day when he actually saw the vision of Satan. He was scared out of his wits and dropped the reiki and went to the church. Speaking with WLIRFM's uh, Dilly's live program, the bishop said he was received about nine requests for exorcisms. This is something that has to be done in secret because you don't let those people's names on. Otherwise, they're going to think you're crazy. And once you're crazy, you'll be stuck doing nothing but answering the phone or the show like me. <laughs> Strong girl, he said he had never seen an exorcism himself. But I have certainly felt the presence of evil. <laughs> and the priest said he warned the four guys beforehand. Well, let me tell you something. That was, again, the Irish Times. So let me tell you something. If you can't afford an exorcism, then just call me, and I'll come over with my knives, and I'll say, hey, act the way they want you to act. And if you start talking in languages that I don't know, I'll just cut your throat and leave your corpse on the floor. It's a whole lot cheaper than an exorcism. You know, I do think perhaps you're getting a bit carried away. I told you to butt out of it. I'll tell you, take him and you'll be invisible. You'll also be missing a part. <laughs> and the doctor won't be able to sew it back on because he won't be able to see it, will he? No. There are two stories left, and two. CBS News FBI agent shot by booby-trapped wheelchair in fortified home. And this filled me with lots of, lots of joy. And I can tell you why it made me so happy. Because so many people think that Saw is fake. And it's unbelievably nice to know that it's real. It's unbelievably nice to know that it could actually happen to somebody in real life, isn't it? Portland, Oregon. A former Southern Oregon property owner has been charged with assault on a federal officer authorities say the FBI agent sent to the property was shot by a booby-trapped electric chair. Now here's my question. This is why I bring you the news as I do. If it's okay to steal from a shark in one instance, now it's okay to put somebody in jail for something that a wheelchair did. They should have brought the charges against the wheelchair if the wheelchair is what did it. Law enforcement officers responded to the home on the town of Williams on September 7th at the request of a real estate lawyer tasked with selling the property. The Oregon Live reported <laughs> a criminal complaint filed by the U.S. District Court in Medford said officers found traps throughout the property with spike strips to that circular hot tub turned on the side and rigged to roll over anybody who stepped into the trap wire. Why didn't they just stay out of the house? It was much like a scene from Indiana Jones in the Lost Ark, in which Harrison Ford is forced to outrun a giant boulder. Well, maybe he should have stayed out of the tomb. Maybe I should stay out of tombs. After making it past the hot tub, according to the complaint, a bomb squad and FBI agent approached the property's manufactured home and blasted open the fortified door. He's just mad that there weren't any women in the hot tub waiting for him. Authorities said the makeshift weapons were created by 66-year-old Gregory Roldevelt, who had been forced to forfeit his property as part of an elder abuse case, where he didn't sound very young himself. So maybe they're trying to fix the elder abuse case by abusing another elderly person. <laughs> Roosevelt currently is in Arizona's Miyakopa County Jail. He's in the midst of an assault trial <laughs> in a separate case unrelated to an alleged armed standoff. He has refused a court-appointed defense attorney. That's because he says he's innocent. He didn't do anything wrong. He made a creative. If that crazy kid can make a clock that looks like a bomb, then that guy should be allowed to make a wheelchair that actually hurts somebody. I think he should have gotten the 
the kind of a prize for an inventor. <laughs> and that brings us to the dumpty of the day. <laughs> That's right. It's the dumbest story that Sam and I could find for Halloween. But I sort of cut him. <laughs> Cut him out of the decision-making process. An invisible man, if you open your mouth, I swear to God, I'll cut you like a fish. Mm -hmm. Florida man attempts to buy eight-year-old for $200,000 at a Walmart. Now, here's my question before I even get started. I guess I have a couple questions. First of all, I don't think you should be buying children from Walmart. Because when you buy children from Walmart, they were likely made in China. And they're likely already defective. You can probably get a much better priced child somewhere else. Now, maybe, maybe you'll pay a little more. Oh, but I think the quality of the child will be better, don't you? Uh, secondly, I think Walmart probably would do better off if the children were made in the USA. And unfortunately, none of that is addressed here. But I can tell you what I got. I can tell you what Yahoo wrote. It's pretty grim, so I like it. <laughs> Again, Florida. A Florida man is facing charges after he allegedly attempted to buy an eight-year-old girl a shop in a Walmart. I wonder if it would have been just as much if he had gotten a boy in the Me Too era. It's probably a lot worse because she was female. <laughs> Hellmuth Hell, <laughs> Hellmuth Cole was arrested on Saturday after a woman claimed he approached her while she was sitting on a bench at Pork Orange Walmart with her daughter. It's according to WKMG TV. <laughs> the woman Tracy Nye and I. Tell the police the 81-year-old callmaster she was married before changing the subject to her daughter. It seemed like a friendly conversation. He didn't seem like a threat at first. I hear that all the time. <laughs> That's what she told the station. That is, until Cole allegedly started badgering Nolan if she would sell her daughter to him. Now, I'm saying, making somebody an offer isn't badgering them. She had a right to first refusal. The first amount of $100,000, the second was 150000 and then the final was 200000 and then I said, no, we have to go. All right, and then, then the deal wasn't done. I don't understand what the big deal is. Unless, uh, you know, I don't know if the meat was worth $200,000. You know, and when you get the meat from Walmart, it's the GMO laden. It's not organic. That seems like an awful lot of money to pay for a non-organic kid. He was charged with simple battery and false imprisonment and booked into the Valicia County Jail. Uh, so I don't know who he imprisoned by asking to buy some meat. Uh, but uh, there he is. I'm going to go to YouTube. YouTube, you guys get to see this man. The rest of you, I don't have screen share, so you don't, you just have to suffer. If you don't like it, feel free to call him and call me. I'm the one who answers the phone. I take your call. So basically what we've learned today is that children are overpriced at Walmart. We've learned that it's okay to steal food from the mouth of hungry sharks. It's okay to throw lobsters into boiling water. And the FBI doesn't know how to charge a wheelchair. We learned that, too. You're listening to the correct views. <laughs> the victim later picked up Cole from a folder lineup. She told on him she ran him out. And, friends, that is the correct views. And that is me. That's uh, Sam I.B. signing off, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this year's Halloween insanity. You had... Uh, Larry, throw them back. You had, uh, you can look them up on the show at the youtube.com slash the correct views. <coughs> you had Larry throw them back. Of course, the drunk who is the designated driver for the correct views. You had Buddy Puff, the intern. Yeah, he's been an intern for about six years, but he's a slow learner. And then, of course, you just met Ard Mortis. Of course, none of them existed, but they could have. So do me a favor. Let me know which of the three you enjoyed the most. And don't just pick one. Go back through the show and look. And lastly, if you'd like to donate to the show, you can do so at the correct views at hotmail.com. You can donate through PayPal. Good night, friends. God bless. Thank you, Nick, Scott, John, and Steve for joining.